So I got a comment that said that I only tested a voltage drop on half of the circuit because I only tested from the alternator output cable to the battery positive. So let me show you guys how to do a voltage drop test on the ground side in case you suspect you have a bad ground. When you're doing voltage drop tests, guys, you can either do it on the positive or the negative. You don't always have to do both. If you're doing a voltage drop test, you already narrowed it down to know if it's on the positive side or the negative side. Once you get there, then you already know what side you're gonna be testing. The video that I'm referring to was a video on how to do a voltage drop test on the alternator circuit, because that's a common circuit that has resistance in it. So with my scope set up, I have my black lead connected to the ground side of the battery, and I have my red lead connected on this strut tower right here. Going to the strut tower is gonna help me verify the ground integrity for the chassis or body of this particular vehicle. So we'll go ahead and pause it. Once we do so, then again, I'll put my cursor about in the middle. While doing so in the middle, I'm showing roughly around 13 millivolts on the ground from the battery to the strut tower here on the vehicle. Again, if you wanna go peak to peak, you definitely can. And going peak to peak gives me a delta of about 38 millivolts, which is still within the acceptable range of 200 millivolts. Now, some of you guys might see 100 millivolts, but everything that I've been taught, everything that I've read, and most of the literature that exists from service information, it's 200 millivolts on a ground. My next test to verify engine ground integrity is I ran my lead over to the engine block. And when I do so, you can notice that my voltage drop remains relatively the same. What this is indicating is the ground integrity for this vehicle is in good shape. The important key anytime you guys do a voltage drop test is to turn on as many loads as possible so you can load the entire circuit. This way you can guarantee 100% that you're stressing it well enough so this way you can see if you have any unwanted resistance on any portion of this circuit. This test that I just ran is super important because the chassis ground is the biggest ground of the entire car. So if you have an issue with the chassis ground, that means that everything that connects to that ground is going to have a problem. I know this was useful. Make sure you guys share it, comment below, and tag somebody so this way we can continue to help other techs out on the field. See you guys on the next one.